everybody, this is me, Sonic0895, and... Ah, uh, yeah. First episode! I accidentally moved the, uh, video file to a different folder, and it, uh, screwed up the rendering process, so... I gotta mute. I keep forgetting multitasking. But, hopefully you can hear me. Well, I gotta talk loud like this all the time, and it's gonna get annoying. But yeah, we're gonna go to this person right here and... But before we do that... We are gonna see the video. Now I'm gonna shut up now. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Mizurubi. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her... scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Sai Cooper and Vicious Voodoo! And there's a Sai Cooper doll, Voodoo doll. It's a doll! Now, not. Yeah, I'm already done with, with this place, as you can see. But, I am going to do the first place and talk about all the stuff then. I'm, so, I'm using my new microphone again, so that's why I'm talking a little bit louder. And you can do time trials after you beat the stage. First time through. There'll be time trials here. I'm gonna try to get all these. Fuck me. What the hell? Yeah, I'm trying to really show everything, so yeah. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines around yeah, here are in the cut scene, I'm blue. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away, and where it's super slick from icky slime and moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. Yes, jump and hit the circle button. This is mainly the second usage throughout the entire series. But uh, yes. The first thing I figured out was I was low in my other recordings. Truth be told, there are social spiders. But truth be told, I accidentally lowered my mic's volume output setting on Audacity and there's clues right here. Like trying to go around remembering where all the shit was. I don't know how hard it is. Fuck me. I had to go my horseshoe back. I was trying to get my little back. And the thing about these vines, sometimes when you jump and hit the circuit button on the rail, rail sliding device, you turn backwards. It did, it did it last time, but I don't know if it do it now. But yeah, there's spiders, there's mosquitoes, there's these whatever the heck these things are. That uses that used to scare the shit out of me. There'd be clues over here on this thing, and there'll be one that's between that tree over there. Ow. Just clearing Do my mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> Mario weapons. <laughs> and a side camera. And there'll be uh, clues over there. 
These are new flashlight cards. They got candles on their heads. And they're... That blue ball that they have is homey. And the rest of the crews are here. And the safe's right over there. Combination was like five, seven, nine, I think. And our row becomes electrified. Awesome, yes. And then there's candles that was protecting Kia on this pedestal. And then we open the door after killing everyone. And then we go in and yeah. <sighs> Try to remember everything and it's been a few days. My paranormal scan now. My paranormal scanner is maxing out on that structure! A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. This is like the funnest thing in you. If you ever wanted to backtrack, you can jump up there. Just walk your way back up if you ever even want to. I don't even know why you want to. Wake up, you lazy bags of swamp gas! The voodoo vibe is spinning tonight! Let's take advantage of this powerful mojo and step up production! Keep piling those shiny bones into the sink! We'll have an army of ghosts by the morning and take over Mexico by the end of the week. Hear that, voodoo children? Our family is about to grow, grow, grow! <laughs> and this is the second stage I did in that first episode. While I danced, like this. Whee! It's very hard to do that sometimes. Whee! Ah, I hate spoiling area pictures. Fly, the only way to open up that voodoo gate is by lighting all 25 tiki torches with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. You need fuel from the flamethrower, and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down with a boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry! You only have two minutes to get all the torches lit. Yes. I passed this on my very first try, too. Wham. Right, my strategy for this, get at least like four, three to four fishes. Guess you can only carry up to five, you know. And just keep going, you know? This is the easiest game. I don't know how I did that. That was awesome. This, in the original PS2 game, was always hard for me and I always failed it. And I don't even say like, This is not easy. I'd say I only got two torches left and on the original clock I had 15 seconds left. Now I'm doing it again. With 36 seconds left now. I just like how this goes. And that was me where the key is. The then TV flickered. But that would be the end of the episode because it was actually 15 minutes. 
all together then there, everything else is in order and is not corrupt like this video was now I hope you enjoyed this quick section of remake of episode something and I'll see you and everything will be back to old commentary and original gameplay in the next two episodes I'll see you guys later